Hello everyone and welcome back to our Sky Factory series. Now, all I have done is a little bit of work. I have put chests in our little mechanical room and got kind of a layout of how I want at least a little bit of it. Now, the first fives are going to be for, of course, going to be for the wooden ones, and then the iron one, the next five, then gold for the next five, and then one for the diamond sieve, and then these single ones over here are for the trees, the saplings, I think there were six, so I put six here, and then I was going to make cobblestone here, but then it's like... I might have to move this a little bit or make it smaller because I just remembered that I want to use some saplings to make dirt and I kind of want it in this room too. I could use some in the middle area for that. Because those shouldn't be that big of machines. But that's later. Kind of want to start with these. That was the test run. Now, if I remember correctly, the hoppers will go down first before they go to the side. So, using this just for now, we'll be using these, but not in this way. Oh, oh well, I'll pick that up later. By moving it here, when this one gets full and that hopper gets full, this hopper will then move items over in this direction. Ow. Come on. <laughs> Which means we could... Let me get actual some blocks instead of these droppers. I do not want to grab obsidian. Because that will take forever. Eh, uh, nether rack. If we lead the hoppers into the dropper, we should have our overflow chest then all sorted. Or not chest, our overflow system all sorted yeah. this is where the stuff is going to be so do this real quick because on top of that will be the sieve and then on top of that will be Pressure on top of that with the actual cobblestone generator. But we're not working on that right now. We've been we're working on the exit when everything is overfilled. Okay. Now if I put the dropper right here. Where are the items that are going to go? Can I? Yeah, okay. But just something in there. All right. So that's the exit. I could. If I do it like this. Hold on. I'm not going to be using the netherrack here at all. I'm just using it as a kind of a guide of what I'm going to be doing. If I do that and fill with lava, anytime it actually activates, it'll just go straight up and you'll have to use an extra square. Yeah, let's do that.
I'll get rid of all of it because we're going to replace it with glass. Okay, um, do we have any glass down here? Remove some of this stuff. I don't think we have any glass down here. Do we have any glass anywhere? We do. That loud iron. There's some glass. Okay. My thing is, I hope they don't overlap each other. Like, I want to make sure each one has enough space to do it. Which means I'm going to have to actually take this one down and that one down because I'm going to need a little bit of redstone. So that means I'm going to need... A block underneath it just to do the redstone line for that. Let me grab more of the droppers. I should have not dropped them off. Uh, there they are. Sorry, the yards I have been in and out all day of sleep. So this episode's kind of a weird one for me. Yeah. But really, when there we go. All right, and that one's facing up, so that is now correct. Can we do this? Um, yeah, it looks like everything's going to work, actually. Or at least, you know, everything so far is going to work. I need to do the rest of the line now. Yeah, I'd actually like the way it's getting set up. I didn't want to make the... I wanted to kind of make it as compact as possible. But still be functional, of course. This should work out. Now, temporarily... I want to see if this actually works 100%. So this one, this hopper, which I'm going to pick it up anyways, is going to be took it out just so then I can figure out if everything works 100%. Because I want to make sure that when the item drops, it goes into there and it, you know, spits it out and gets rid of it. When it gets to that point of fullness. And I will put back the hopper when I'm completed with it yeah I am definitely hoping to at least get 
one or two of these set up while on camera, and then do the rest off. Or at least the rest of these two, or these um, wooden ones. Now since I don't actually have any wooden ones up, none of this stuff is going to be moved until we get to the iron section. I still have a little of iron ones. This is going to be the most annoying one to do actually. Because we're going to need more spaces so that we can have all the hoppers and all the chesses interlock each other. So, when that one comes along, things might be a little bit different. I've got some time. So now... Let's start setting everything up, and hopefully everything will go together. Now all these are upgraded with uh, emeralds, but we won't have to worry about that issue. Nope. Ah, let me out! <laughs> Okay, the crusher. And now, the cobblestone generator. Which we're going to have to get a bucket of lava and a bucket of water to this. Yeah, I did not know the cobblestone generator actually works faster than the crusher. Did not know that. Okay, um, so once that gets the source in there, we will be getting stuff into the hopper. Basically, lava and our um, water buckets, we're going to need both diamond, not diamond, sorry, gold and iron. trade. I mean, we could get it easier, but I mean, kind of want to do it like this. Not from you. Oh! It's glowstone. I forgot it was glowstone. It's glowstone and iron, not gold. What am I thinking? And... Do we have any glowstone? Let's start with the, with the, um, yeah, there we go. With the golden sieve. I always forget what kind of stuff you get out of them. Now, let's just get one of each. And before, you know, the hopper gets too full, I mean, not the hopper, the uh, dropper gets too full of stuff, we will uh, t take down the console generator temporarily to set it all 100% up. And I need more blocks. Because I be a little short. Should be going into this. Yep, okay. And collect these. Let's get out the junk. So we need some redstone magic and some lava, some more lava, although I could probably just use this and then get more. 
So do we have enough redstone? But first I kinda wanna use a different block than the nether rack. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need these. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. We shouldn't need that. Okay. Let's Let's get it done. And like I said, it has to go one lower. We can make the actual redstone line. Hope we don't have to make it too big. So what I need to do, it might have to go on the other side to work correctly, actually. Because what I'm going to be needing to do is have a comparator and a line. Because the comparator will have the output of this, and then the line will, you know, target it to actually use the item. I think it has to be this way, so we're gonna need that one, two, three, four redstone dust. Don't need these. I have the redstone dust on me. Hope that connects. Even though it's just passing it by it. Alright. And I'm probably missing a few things for it. What else am I missing to get that? Oh, one more torch. Okay, it was three torches, not two. And then, what else am I missing? Some stone blocks. Okay. Always forget the recipes. I'm glad there's a book for it. Okay. That's... That one might be in the way. Huh. Let's see. Yeah, this might not work as I want it to. Hold on. Let me get a few things. Okay. Even if it sticks out a little bit, it will be okay. Because then I can, you know, move that out. So we should be able to put one here and one here. Let me take out everything but one item. That way we know that we able to use it okay we're going to definitely need a repeater or two new that we have to let 
Maybe another one. There we go. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. This needs to be a redstone clock. But still needs to connect to there. Because now it's not connected. Okay. I'm trying to save as much space as I can. That's why I'm taking longer than I would. Might have to go for another square. Will we have enough squares, though, in between? Because that's one, two... Ooh, might not be enough squares. Although I could put this at this level, and then the next one like a little bit lower. That way we have enough space throughout the whole thing. It's not going to look the prettiest then, but this is the maintenance side of the stuff. Okay. I guess we're going to have to do like that. Let me get more some more blackstone bricks. I don't know why I put them away. Yeah, maybe I should actually put these stuff in here. That way it's closer to us. And like I said, closer. And we'll move it. There we go. It's a lot closer. And we're going to need at least one more. Can we get away with this? Can't put it right there because if I do, this line's going to connect to each other. We can't have that. Uh, decisions, decisions. And can't really move the hopper out of the way. Actually, hmm. yeah, I was afraid of that part. Okay, hold on. I could might fix this part. There we go. I think that's how small we're going to have to have it. There we go. And it's turned off. So we need a 3 by 3 area. For, well, technically a 4 by 3. But 3 this way and 2 this way. Okay. So 3 this way will be 1, 2. Yep, 3 will be this one. So we're going to have to make that one a little bit more different. Just to get this working. Because as far as I can see, we can't make it smaller than this. Can we? Get rid of that one. Can't move it over because then... Yeah, this is about roughly as small as I could get it. Yeah. Good enough. I mean, that's pretty small. At least with my expertise, which is not a whole lot anyways, this is as small as I can get it. Which There's probably a way to make it a lot smaller. Okay. 
Well, looking at the time, guys, we're already on the half hour mark, pretty much. So I'm going to have to call it here. I was hopefully to get it fully set up. But by the time of the next episode, I should have at least the wooded and iron ones completely done. At least. And then I'll show you how everything all works at that point. But I am kind of amazed how well I could do this. Definitely with a little bit of sleep. But next episode, hopefully we should have this whole room done. If not, then the one after. And then we'll work on the next area, which will be the library. And then after that, um, I'll probably make the rest of the area either like a, um, you know, a underground kind of forest. Or I said I knew I was going to do a few f other farms, so let's save the the space for the other farms first, and then maybe make an underground secret garden, and then a moth farm. So, God, I still have a lot to do before I even um, complete this everything. I might start have to doing longer episodes or. Um, get more stuff done in between but anyways keep those gears turning